All right, so we move on to the next question. So in this question, we've been asked to determine if the following equations are dimensionally correct or not by using dimensional analysis. So how do we do that? Simple. So the first one we've been given is half mv squared being equal to mgh. So this um, half this side is a constant. So when you're dealing with dimensions, we can forget about this. And let's see if this, if what we're going to get this side is equal to what we're going to get this other side. So the mass here that we have, okay, the question is saying M represents the mass, G represents the acceleration due to gravity, and then V uh, is the velocity and H is the height. So the dimensions for mass there, we have M, capital letter M, and um, V squared there, V squared we know to say, uh, the velocity, velocity, the dimensions for velocity or the units for velocity is meters per second. So if we square this, it means that even this part will be squared. We will have meters squared per second squared. So the dimensions for V here will therefore be, um, so the meters there is the length. So we have the length squared, then per second squared will be time squared. So since there is this pair, means that we're going to have a minus two instead of just writing positive two. And we say this is equal to, um, we have the mass there, M. And then the gravity there is what? The gravity is um, also meters per what? Per second squared. So meters per second squared, that's the gravity. And uh, the meters there represents the length. And then the second squared there represents what? Time. The reason why I'm putting a negative two there, a negative there is because there's this division line. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the edge there, the height, the height is just the distance as well. So the dimension there is L. So let us simplify this expression, this side we see we have to check if what we're going to have this side is going to be equal to what we're going to have there. If they are going to be equal, then the equation is, um, yeah, then the equation is um, correct. If they are going, if they are not going to be equal, then the equation will be, will be considered to be wrong. So we have M, L2, T negative two, and this is equal to M, L times L, we have L2, then T, negative two. So this uh, tells us that the equation is what? It's correct. We do the same for the second one. So the second one we have F D is equal to half MV squared. So we also do the same. So for the force, the dimensions for force, remember we said force is equal to KG Newtons. Yeah, if you follow that, you still uh, you still get the same expression. Skg meters per second squared. Yeah, so kg there represents what? The mass. Then meters represents the length. Then per second squared negative. I mean t to the power negative t, uh, negative two rather. Then the distance here will also be the length. Then we say this is equal to, this one is a constant, we ignore it. Then we have the mass there, which is M. And then the velocity, velocity we said it's uh, meters per second. Now it's squared, meaning we're going to square everything, the numerator and the denominator, meaning we have meters squared over second squared. So the meters there is the length squared, and then the time there in seconds, it will also be squared. But since it's below, it's the denominator, we add a negative there. So let's see if we're going to get the same solutions on both sides. So this side we have M, L, 
L times L, we have L2 to the power two, then we have T to the power negative two. Then this other side, we'll get M there, then L to the power two, then T to the power negative two. This is also a correct equation. Okay, let's move on to C. So for C, we have M A H being equal to M V N, where M is the mass, A is the acceleration, H is the height, V is the velocity, and N is the frequency. So M is the mass, so we can write the dimensions for mass there. Then A is the acceleration. So acceleration is meters per second squared. So meters there represents what? Um, the length, then seconds, seconds there we have the time. And since there's a division line there, so we put a negative two there. Now we said, uh, oh, we still have H there. So H, H is the length as well. So we said this is equal to, this one is the mass. So mass we write M, and then velocity is meters per second. Meters so per second. length over T. So we have length over T. So T to the power negative one. And then we have N there. So the frequency is per time. Remember, uh, frequency is just the number of seconds in a, what's this, is it in a, uh, forgotten the, the simplest definition for frequency. Yeah, it should be, uh, okay, the dimensions for frequency is just per seco. Is it per process per, per t, which is just t to the power negative one? Yeah, that's the dimension for frequency. So we write t to the power negative one there. That's the reason why if you have, uh, if you're measuring frequency, we say, um, yeah, I've forgotten the pendulum and everything there. Yeah, okay, anyway, we'll look at that in the next uh, topic. I think it should be on, um, it should be on, what's this? I think in the next chapter, we're going to discuss that, the pendulums and everything. Okay. okay. So this is what we have there. So we have M, L times L, we're getting L2 then t to the power negative two, and this is equal to, then we have um, m there, then we have one l, then t, uh, t negative one, t negative one gives us t negative two. So when you check the, the, powers, the power of l, it's different. So m is okay and t is okay, but the power of l there is different, hence, this is not correct. Okay. So we move on to the next one. The next one is N, where N is frequency. And then this is equal to half pi, the root of L over G. So n is frequency and we have the L to be the length and G is the acceleration due to gravity. So n is T to the power negative one. And then we put it in, we put it like that. And this is a constant we ignore it. Even the pi is a constant we ignore it. So we have the square root of what? L, which is uh, the length and then um, G is uh, the gravity, which is meters per second squared. So we are having meters there is the length. And um, so we have the length. And then apart from the length, we also have what? The time there. So we have T to the power what? negative two. So this side we have, um, so we have T to the power negative two. 
Okay, we have t to the power negative two there. And then this side we have t to the power negative one being equal to what? Um, the square root of this, the square root of L squared and t negative two. So this is going to be t to the power negative one being equal to, this is just going to be L and t negative one. Okay, so when you look at this, this is also not correct. Now this is also not correct. I'm trying to look at the formula, but this formula I think is, okay, let me just try to check the formula, but I, I, I think this formula, maybe if they did, uh, if they forgot to write something, maybe to make it correct, just for, for the sake of asking a question, maybe, but otherwise the formula, I think I've seen it somewhere before. Let me just try to check. It's also on the pendulum. Okay, so let me try to check, but this is, this is what we have found, and it's telling that it's uh, telling us that. Okay. Okay. How did we move from uh, L times L to the power L times L T to the power negative two to L two and T negative a T to the power negative two? Okay. Yeah, so. That part is, um, okay, let me just do it step by step so that you see what was happening. Oh, sorry, I've been rubbed the other things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was um, the square root of L over G. Mm -hmm. It was L over G, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we had made a mistake. Yes. Yeah, we had made a mistake somewhere. Because it's over, so many yeah, it's over, are yes. up, they're supposed to be negatives, right? So yes, yes, that. yes. Yeah, so I wanted to be surprised to say this formula is correct. Actually, this is a simple pendulum. Uh, this is a this is how you find the frequency of um what's this the frequency of uh the frequency in a what's this in a in a pendulum. Okay. So this formula was supposed to be correct, not wrong. So we have L there, then we say over, oh, then, yeah. yes. And then we have meters per second there. So we have L, L, L and then T to the power what? To the power two, yes. Yes, this is how it's supposed to be. Then this L and that L, would cancel. I mean, it was going to cancel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then from there, we will just remain with, or maybe let me show how it's canceling. So we'll have something like this, huh? have L, when we have L divided by L over, uh, L over T2. So what this means is that according to mathematics, you change the sign there, then you have T2 over L, then L times that, you can see that that and that cancels. Or you can simply just say LT2 over L, that and that cancels. So you just remain with T to the power two. So here you're going to just, here what to just remain is what? T to the power two. Then the square root of, um, sorry, to be negative two there. I forgot to put the negative two. Okay, and the square root of this is simply just going to be, so we have t to the power negative one, this will be equal to, well, the square root of this part will also give us what? t to the power negative one, which tells us this is correct. Yeah, so this is how it was supposed to be done. I hope you've uh, gotten the, the concept here. Yes. All right. Okay, so I think the meeting is about to end.
So what you can just do is um, you join using the same link so that we do the remaining questions. Okay.